you find that you're not quite getting enough out of the reverbs on your GT1000 or GT1000 core? So to have a quick look at this preset, you can see I've got a plate, two seconds, and the effect level there is at 34. Sounds like this. Not a bad level, but let's try pushing it up. Crank it to 60% there. Now to just off 100% at 90 there. Now whilst that is sitting pretty good, there's still a lot of guitar coming through and the reverb isn't quite taking over as much as you would expect it to. Now someone reached out recently and they said they weren't getting any reverb level at all when they were using the GT1000 with their full cable method with their real amp. And this was the answer. Come into menu, you wanna to go to in out, come over to total. Now you can see here, you've got a noise suppressor threshold and also the reverb level. So it's sitting at 100%. Now from memory by default, it comes at 100%. But what you can do is you can crank it all the way up to 200%. So remember in the reverb block, I brought the level up to 90 and this is where it sits now. So now that reverb is big, it's now sitting at a level that you would expect when you crank a reverb to 90. Now in the case of the reverb not coming through in that four cable method, in that instance, the reverb total output was at zero, so obviously there was no reverb going out at all. So there we go, that's how you can bring up the overall output of your reverb level and get a lot more from that reverb block. Thanks so much for watching, stay tuned, see you next time.